I know it, and I know you know it, we all know it, that the Earth is spinning, but why don't we feel it or see it? I mean, a simple Google search will tell you, yeah, we're spinning on our axis once every 24 hours at about a thousand miles per hour. And we're going around the sun at 67,000 miles per hour. But wait, there is more. Our solar system is also moving through our galaxy at about 500,000 miles per hour, but it continues. Our entire galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, is also moving through space at an astounding 1.34 million miles per hour. Okay, well, I know I don't feel the speed or the movement, but shouldn't we be able to see it? Let's see what Google says. Google says, it's not possible to see the Earth spinning in real time regardless of the height you're at because the Earth's rotation is too slow. Even if you're at a great distance, like from space, well, shoot, since I can't go to space myself, I guess I'll never know. Or I'll just take the word of what the astronauts show me. Okay, here's the first ever Russian spacewalk, but sure looks like the Earth is moving to me, and here's a U.S. spacewalk. Doesn't it appear like the Earth is moving? Here's another. Let's focus on this one, because this is the good old United States. I don't trust those Russians. They would lie. The United States would never lie, but... This is the first ever U.S. spacewalk. And Google said that the Earth moves too slow to perceive, but boy, their footage, it sure looks like it's moving pretty fast. Well, now I'm just confused because Google says you can't see the Earth move in real time, no matter what the height. Yet we clearly see it moving in this video from NASA. I mean, NASA is a U.S. government agency. They would never lie to us. And I see it moving, so what's the deal? Well, let's compare it to this edge of space jump from Felix Bumgarner, who was up 25 miles. I mean, he's up high enough to see the curvature. They showed the curvature in that other view. And, well, I don't see anything moving again here. I mean, look at that. It's perfectly still. Definitely not moving. I wonder if he goes up just a little higher if it will start moving. At what point do you have to go up high enough where you start to see it move slightly and then you move up a little higher like the spacewalk and you see it moving rapidly? Huh, that's strange. You would think it would just be consistent because the Earth is constantly moving at a thousand miles per hour. You would think whatever height you go to, it would just be moving that speed. Well, let's go back to Google for a second. Remember it said you can't see the Earth spinning in real time from any height because it's just too slow for the human eye to perceive, but you can see the curvature at about 3,500 feet or seven miles high. Okay, so seven miles high, we should be able to see it. And Felix Bumgartner, well, he was up plenty high to see the curvature of the Earth, which we did because he was at 24 miles high. And yeah, see, here's that video and you can clearly see the curvature of Earth, but wait, when you go inside, it looks a little different. It looks awfully flat there. That's strange. I wonder what renowned scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson has to say about all of this. What's his name? Felix. Felix Baumgartner. Uh, he would have been about two millimeters above the surface of this globe. That's his edge of space jump. Now, you know, I, I don't, it's fine. he wants to, I don't have a problem if he does it, but the, the honesty of it would greatly diminish what I think people thought he was actually doing. And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. Right. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's surface and he's like, wow, he's in space. Look at that. No, he's not. At that height, you don't see. You don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. Google. Is, you just don't. Google said. Google that said. stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. It's so strange. Google says you can't see it moving from anywhere. And then we see it moving from anywhere. And then Google says you can see the curvature at seven miles, but then Neil deGrasse Tyson, the literal most renowned space guy there is in the world, says you can't see it from 25 miles high. So what's the deal? Why is there so much conflicting information? 
you would think if there was truth, it would just be there. You would just look and it would be at this height you see curvature, at this height you see spin, but it's conflicting always. You know what usually has conflicting stories? Liars. Liars have conflicting stories because they can't keep their stories straight because they're always lying. Maybe, just maybe, you've believed liars your entire life. But of course, this is for entertainment purposes. I know I'm spinning right now. <laughs>